Today marks a significant milestone for the Bureau for Intellectual Property of St. Martin as we celebrate the official opening of our office. We are excited and humbled that you're here celebrating this very special occasion with us. The journey for St. Martin to implement our own Bureau for Intellectual Property began legally in 2013, but many can argue before that, before 2010. It has been a long process, but totally worth it. Today, we are proud to say that BIP St. Martin is a member of the World Interne Intellectual Property Organization. Our services range from trademark registration to providing general information about intellectual property and its protection in St. Martin, offered to all sectors, individuals, small, medium, and large businesses or corporations, as well as domestic and foreign companies. Bips and Martin launched the I envelope today and thus also increased its services available to the public of St. Martin. I would like to acknowledge that through the cooperation and partnership of the Benelux Office for Intellectual Property, Property BOIP, and the contribution of the Bureau for Intellectual Property, Curacao, this Bureau has made considerable progress towards offering our clients fast and reliable services, and we take this opportunity to thank you for your support and contribution provided thus far. I'd also like to acknowledge the, president, the presence of our government representatives, particularly our minister, Minister of Tea, but also previous ministers here in attendance, that played a vital role in the establishment of the Bureau for Intellectual Property of St. Martin, the previous commissioners, the previous ministers, and members of parliament who have contributed tremendously towards this achievement we also take this opportunity to thank you for your contribution. BIP St. Martin has a public responsibility. Our commitment is to offer our clients the tools and support and protection of their intellectual creations. We are dedicated, inspire, and will strive for employee and customer satisfaction, high standards and values, and corporate social responsibility. Bureau for Intellectual Property St. Martin will continue to achieve its goal, build excellence, and ensure a clear and accessible approach towards our clients. I must also thank the fellow members of the board, Mrs. Glennis Blonde, Vice Chairperson of the board, and Mr. Ahmed Bell, Secretary of the Board of BIP St. Martin, for their invaluable contribution and support to this organization. A special thank you and congratulations to the director of BIP, Mrs. Vincentia Rosen Sandford, and the staff of BIP, Mr. Femi Kutler, and Mrs. Arti Yusia, for your immeasurable service and dedication in setting up and, in my opinion, successfully operating the Bureau for Intellectual Property of St. Martin. Do enjoy the rest of your program. And I will start with a quote by Mr. Peter Drucker, a world renowned management consultant, educator, and author, who said, Innovation is the specific instrument of entrepreneurship, the act that endows resources with a new capacity to create wealth. Every economy is driven by the effective implementation of creative and innovative ideas of entrepreneurs. Today is a momentous in St. Martin's history and critical for the future development of the island's economy. The establishment of the Bureau Intellectual Property of St. Martin plays an important role in the future development of St. Martin's economy. An effective intellectual property system helps strike a balance between the interests of creative entrepreneurs and the public, providing an environment in which creativity and inventions can prosper. Creative and innovative products in itself level the playing field for small and medium enterprises to provide services and add value to the overall economy. However, creative and innovative processes require a particular environment to strive, an environment where the intellectual property of entrepreneurs and creative minds is not only respected, but also protected. Thus, the establishment of a Bureau of Intellectual Property is imperative for the growth of the economy. Unique, creative, and innovative ideas not only add value to the socio-economic structure of a country, the effective implementation of these ideas can create wealth for the individual 
the business and by extension, the economy. These types of ideas are not specific to a particular industry. The fruition of such ideas has revolutionized and revitalized stagnation economies and caused emerging economies to boom. This bureau serves to add a unique element to St. Martin's economic development that is necessary for both internal and foreign investment. It helps to build a trust, which is the foundation for every transaction. In the 21st century, it is not enough to just have such services available. It is equally important that this bureau remains innovative in the way it functions to best serve St. Martin's diverse demographic of entrepreneurs. I am proud that St. Martin is leading in collaborating with the Benelux Office of Intellectual Properties in providing online services. The trademark register is available online and even the registration of the trademark is easily completed online. Also, the launch of the I envelope, although not yet available via online process, helps to encourage the type of creativity and innovation that is necessary to build a resilient and prosperous country. The ministry and its departments will continue to support this type of development for the people of this country. Without protection of creative and innovative development, there is no real tool to safeguard the wealth for the entrepreneur and the business environment. I look forward to a continued and strengthened working relationship with the Bureau of Intellectual Property and would like to wish the Director and the Supervisory Board much continued success. The work has just begun. However, we are working together for the benefit of the public and to ensure that the economy is sustained through creative and innovative solutions. I thank you and we will be looking forward to working with you and supporting you as well. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, it is for me an honor to address you at this very special occasion. After all, the opening of a Bureau for Intellectual Property is something that happens about as frequently as the founding of a new country. We have experienced constitutional changes within a rather unique framework in the recent past. One that on multiple occasions has led to quite interesting conversations and discussions within the Kingdom even among legal professionals on matters such as intellectual property, legislation, and procedures. The constitutional changes that took place within the kingdom have resulted, among other things, in the establishment of the country of St. Martin, thus opening the way for us to have the privilege of being here today, witnessing a truly historic occasion, the opening of the Bureau for Intellectual Property of St. Martin. Since 10 10, 10 in connection with the constitutional changes, the Bureau for Intellectual Property of Curacao has been entrusted to support the country of St. Martin as it continues administering the rights required by the, in the past by the trademark holders and have been doing so for almost five years. Our history as trademark registrars began in 1893 and the oldest registered trademark still in force stems back to the year of 1901. The continuity in St. Martin of the rights acquired by the trademark holders throughout all these decades until now would not have been possible without the expertise, dedication and efforts of those <coughs> sorry, that went before us. And without the provision for the registration of trademarks in St. Martin, both the history and the continuity of the protection of these trademarks could be lost. It is in part due to the arduous labors of the Bureau of Intellectual of Curacao that the trademark registration for the country of St. Martin can move forward. Having started out as part of the trademark registration under the colony of Curacao towards the end of the 19th century and afterwards under the country of the Netherlands and Belize. Today, we see more and more changes around the world in the way businesses is conducted. The emphasis is increasingly on the value of intangible goods protected under intellectual property legislation. For example, how would Miss Taylor Swift have been able to protect the titles of her new album, 1989, as trademarks? Or how could Miss Beyoncé Knowles have allowed for her likeness to be used in promoting the Ivy Park line of sportswear? None of that would have been possible without a Bureau for Intellectual Property. 
The reason for this lies in the primary task carried out by such bureaus, which is to prepare law bills for the protection of intellectual property, register trademarks and patents, and act as a center for maintaining said registrations. At present, there are three laws in force in St. Martin, protecting three, three separate areas of intellectual property rights. We have the copyright law, the patent law, which is the Kingdom Act, and the trademark law. Recently, I was listening to a cover of Michael Jackson's song, Be Dead. It was performed by a lady with a lovely voice, but was interpreted as a very slow jazz, making the song pretty much unrecognizable at first. As Bureau for Intellectual Property, our task is to provide the community with ways of protecting their rights within the framework of applicable legislation, and in this case, for instance, within the framework of the copyright, and explain the effects of such a cover may have on the original work, its original creator, and its original composer. Now, St. Martin has its own bureau taking care of that, under the direction of Ms. Rosen, with the support of Ms. Yusia and Mr. Kutler. In conclusion, be assured that we at the Bureau for Intellectual Property of Curacao remain at your disposal to continue working together in the interest of our communities. Please allow me to congratulate you and convey our best wishes on behalf of the Bureau for Intellectual Property of Curacao. I am very happy and grateful to be here today in St. Martin to celebrate with you the opening, the official opening of the Bureau for Intellectual Property. And I feel particularly proud that your government has put its faith in our organization to work with you. The setup of our organization as it is today allows us to do other work in the field of intellectual property. And the first example of this work is the execution of the Bess Merkenbrett, the Bess Islands, which we have been responsible now since the 10th of October 2010. And another example is the recent cooperation in the field of patents, which may develop into a more visible role of BORP in this new field, at least to us in the field of patents. The key word of our organization is cooperation. Within our organization, we are used to working with different cultures, with different legal systems, and we play a more and more important role in the EU cooperation programs, EU legislation getting more and more important in our daily life. As I already mentioned, the Dutch government entrusted us with the setup of the trademarks legislation specific to the Basque Islands. And it shows the confidence built up in our ability to cooperate with users working on the other side of the world in a completely different time zone. And in my mind, asking BYP to do work for St. Martin was, and I fully understand it, not an obvious option for the government of St. Martin because a lot of preparatory work had to be done. And here I should mention the work done by René, he's standing there just uh, beside Camille. René came to see us and uh, to see if he could learn from our Caribbean experience and he understood perfectly well what we were able to do and what we could not do. We are an IP, uh, uh, an international organization administrating IP rights, but we are not a software builder in general terms. René, however, saw that that cooperation could lead to success if the administrative tasks could be outsourced to our organization. The new to build up bureau here in St. Martin could focus on reaching the St. Martin-based companies and develop and developing IP awareness in this community. René also established a business case showing the attractiveness of this cooperation to the government and therefore, René, once again, many thanks from uh, BOIP. Without you, it would have been much more difficult. But where René set the bureau on paper, 
the staff was of course responsible for putting it into place and creating where we are standing today. And in The Hague we met Vincenzia and Arti, I think it was at the end of 2014, and I must confess you that we made a dashing impression on me and on Camille, the two ladies who were so open-minded, so enthusiastic, and so IP-trained, that our cooperation was from the very first beginning uh, smooth. And I have never had the impression that um, the physical distance and time gap between our offices has ever been a problem to work together and to help each other. You have done it so well, Vincenzia Arte. You are a real blessed for St. Martin in these times. And so uh, Camille will hand you over a small gift from the St. Martin team working at BOIP. And that <laughs> And now, let me come to the conclusion. Once again, my sincere congratulations, not only on behalf of myself, but also on behalf of our administrative board and on behalf of all the colleagues at the working at BOIP. And I don't doubt one single second that you are able, Vincenzia, to maintain a well-functioning modern IP office responding to the needs of the companies on St. Martin. Ik dank u zeer. And once again, thank you so much for having invited me. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I would particularly like to thank uh, the President of Parliament for being here today and our Minister of uh, Tourism, Traffic, uh, um, uh, Economy and... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so overwhelmed right now with all the wonderful words that were just said um, so I'm just taking just a few moments to catch myself thank you all so much um, so after protocol being established I'd like to start my speech um, okay although BIP is a young organization I firmly believe that it is an organization that is creative inventive and forward-thinking this allows us to be efficient and helpful to our clients and the community by providing information about the tools necessary for protecting their intellectual property. The official opening of the Bureau for Intellectual Property marks the end of one phase in St. Martin's history and signifies the beginning of another. However, it could not happen without a specific measure of endurance one that was mentioned by uh, our speakers before. We continue to strive for greatness by always looking for that one more thing to set us apart. As a young professional tasked with leading such an organization and focused on the contribution of the progress of St. Martin, I have a vision that the Bureau will continue to be a leader in our region for the protection of intellectual property. We will achieve this through our strategic partnerships, keeping true to our core values whilst remembering that being able to accept change when needed is what will continue to ensure the growth of the Bureau. As the Minister mentioned in her speech, it is imperative for our economy to have an effective Bureau for Intellectual Property on St. Martin. BIP has already effectively leveraged its international relationships with the World Intellectual Property Organization, the Benelux Office for uh, Intellectual Property, and the Bureau for Intellectual Property of Curacao to build a firm foundation in which I believe everyone here tonight is sure after your speeches that it's a firm and solid foundation. Members of these organizations, along with ministers past and present, and yet a small yet forceful team of driven enthusiasts, work together tirelessly to join uh, a vision of establishing an intellectual property office on St. Martin. Our island has been and continues to be tremendous through its diversity. 
We have made history today, and we will come and continue to make history, for this is only the beginning of this journey for St. Martin. The intentions and values on which this Bureau was built are those that I am personally proud to carry out. When I first heard about this vacancy, these were some of the points brought forward that attracted me the most and continue to motivate me every day. Though I am privy to how this all began, from the incorporation phase, the enforcement of the law, and now an actual physical office to best serve the island and region's most innovative minds, I must say a heartfelt thank you. Thank you to every government official, past and present, who have been monumental uh, to this occasion in one way or another. As Ms. Hoover indicated in her speech, this dream of realizing a St. Martin Intellectual Property Office started even way before country St. Martin was born. Although legally, it started in 2013 with Renee Mazel. <laughs> I would like to thank specifically Renee Mazel, the project coordinator, Although I don't believe my thanks can measure up in any way to the thanks that was just given to you, Mr. Mazel, by Mr. Simon. <laughs> so, um, uh, thank you. Uh, you have been an integral part of the Bureau for Intellectual Property being born. I know it's your baby, and I've taken your baby away from you, so thank you for that. <laughs> I would like to extend my thanks to the now director of the Bureau for Intellectual Property of Curacao, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Geriona Maduro. She has been a vital part in communication from the very start of St. Martin, acting on behalf of St. Martin, handling the registrations on be uh, behalf of St. Martin. So this is before we had a country St. Martin. She was the person that was responsible for ensuring that everything went smoothly for St. Martin. You've done a tremendous job. The dedication and the work and the ability of the team at the Bureau of Intellectual Property of Curacao to continue to act on behalf of the interests of the public is something I admire and it's something that I definitely can learn from. Thanks to the work of the Bureau uh, of Intellectual Property in Curacao for doing the trademark registrations on behalf of St. Martin for all those years although even longer than intended, we appreciate it very much. Thank you, Mrs. Maduro, for your descriptive breakdown of intellectual property rights. That um, puts me off the hook of having to go into depth about that. <laughs> also, I would like to thank your predecessor, Mr. Slice, who gave his heart to this work already when it was established as the Bureau for Intellectual Property of the Netherlands Antilles. So please tell him thank you on my behalf. A special thank goes out to the Director of the Benelux Office for Intellectual Property, Mr. Edmond Simon. Bib values the hard work, knowledge, and dedication of your team. St. Martin is proud to be on the list of the first few offices in the region to have an online register and that you and your office saw the potential of St. Martin and therefore entered into this working relationship. The work that BIP does with the Benelux office is that of mutual respect, understanding, and cooperation. It's invaluable in so many ways to the further growth of our office and by extension, support of entrepreneurs. It's been great working with a team of individuals that are dedicated to learning from mistakes while striving for excellence, efficiency, and accuracy. I applaud you for your humility and willingness to serve us despite your 40 plus years of experience and existence. The ability of the Benelux office to translate the needs of the office in St. Martin for the benefit of St. Martin is one that I believe deserves an applause. With that, I would also like to thank uh, the project manager of the Benelux office, Mr. Camille Janssen.
Thank you for being here and for being a team player and a coach whenever needed. I am passionate about learning and I had the distinct pleasure of learning from every individual that has been part of this journey in setting up the Bureau. The good times, the not so good times, and especially the most challenging times, has served as opportunities to grow and strengthen. It is what the individual learns from the experience is what matters the most, and not the experience in itself. Thank you to all the trademark representatives. I know that a lot of you are here. I have not been able to shake all of your hands. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let's continue to educate our clients on the protection of their intellectual property rights. With this, I would like to say a special thank you to my team, Mrs. Arti Yusia, who has been there with me from the very beginning and uh, seen me through the good and the bad times and that without her, I would not probably have continued at times. And Mr. Femi Kutluer, who has just joined our team last January, and he has been an amazing contribution and part to our team. I would like to say a quick little thank you to my mother who is here, my reason for being. I'm the youngest of seven. Um, I have actually five sisters and one brother. So technically, I have uh, six mothers. So thank you to all my moms <laughs> for raising me. You've done a great job. And last and certainly not least, I'd like to personally thank the supervisory board and the minister in her cabinet. Because without you, this also would not be possible. Your commitment to see this to the end is commendable. Thank you.